we are here because we, we are trying to do impossible things. I bought a one-way ticket and I just went to California and chased a dream. Have you ever dreamed of being an astronaut? How much fun would it be for you to drive a rover on the moon? It's all about imagination. The Google Lunar X Prize is unlocking a new world of imagination for everyone. The Google Lunar X Prize is a competition about driving a remote-controlled car on the moon. It'll be the first time that a private company is going to send a robot to the surface of the moon. I have never been south of Costa Rica, so it's nice to explore a new country. It's been a pleasure to be here, especially with Team Angelicum hosting. They've been unbelievable hosts. It's very interesting to come and to visit. It is that we are not staying some more time here. years have passed very quickly and it's uh, it's been intense. Quite a bit has progressed uh, in the last year. We unveiled a new robot called Polaris. This is our ice drilling robot that's going to be sent to the pole of the moon. We have the people, we have the resources and the team is very enthusiastic. We are working with universities. We've also obtained a private contract. We also have a 10 million dollar contract with NASA. It's been a difficult year for us. We are now in a position in the team Eurolunar where we need luck in order to win. It sounds easy, but actually it's not easy. Well, the biggest challenge is, is the funding. It's tough. Hungary is first a small country. The economic situation is uh, not really good, and the, the biggest challenge was just to keep the team alive and to get financed. We haven't yet received big funding. Having said that, we just turned down two reasonably big offers. Time would tell whether we're being brave or being stupid. It's very, very difficult to keep motivating people that have a day job and then ask them to give their free time in the evenings or weekends to build a spacecraft. People are volunteering and then they say, oh, you're not paying me, so I cannot do it. I have a day job and so on. The first few guys that we tried to recruit didn't work out so well. The space industry is at a very important turning point right now, trying to decide if it wants to go away where it actually has a free private space sector or more government control. We have big support from um, the President of Israel, Shimon Peres. We have some offers and we have a big sponsor that has $10 billion to invest in only R&D. Our team is the leading team in aerospace field in Romania. Our last project is the collaboration with European Space Agency to test the recovery system for the Martian lander. We are proud of Hungarian thinking uh, just to make the best from the very, very limited resources. Indian aerospace startup beats the Americans to the moon. So, <laughs> uh, that's powerful. <laughs> I want to see the Israeli spaceship land on the moon no matter what. So, no, I mean, we will win. It sparks the imagination and, and brings up a whole new generation of, of scientists. This competition really has shown me just how much of a community this really is. And success for any one of these teams is a success for all of us. There's lots of opportunities for collaboration internationally. In aerospace, I think that uh, we should create the concept of cooperation. Our group has been in a lot of conversations with other X-Prize teams. Space exploration is not just one country. It's about many nations going together, exploring our solar system. That's a real competition. It's not over till it's over. As competitors, we drive each other forward. And in the end, whichever team accomplishes this mission will have done so not in spite of the other competitors, but because of the other competitors. Thank you.